all right boys as you can tell right now we got some very exciting news all right there was a little bit of speculation that we were gonna get a ragnarok character or even a collab banner this week but unfortunately all those rumors were wrong as we are getting a seven catastrophe live stream which means we are getting a seven catastrophe banner now what does this mean okay so we've been knowing about this for a while now that potentially we could be getting a seven catastrophe banner because they've been talking about this earlier this year like if you look at my profile real quick um i kind of tweeted one of the dev notes that was earlier this year um basically saying that in addition as we ship gears for full-fledged development of ragnarok we're also preparing new content based on the story which can be played more casually also in the works is the release of untold stories of the seven catastrophe in several chapters this will be a turning point for the seven catastrophe as in the story they will be facing opposing forces and new heroes will be introduced now this is kind of interesting because this means that they are actually trying to expand upon the seven catastrophes so you know we're going to be seeing additional new characters which i can't wait to see what the designs will be what they will look like uh, uh, uh. hopefully it'll be some baddies you feel me but um they're also gonna have new content as well what it seems like probably a new boss that will be based on catastrophe as well and it's kind of interesting because we was waiting for this because they have been really slacking on original character content like with ragnarok and catastrophe so to see that they actually trying to build more this year is pretty nice to see um so i i can't wait to see what they will do with the catastrophe hopefully they have them like at least compete in like pv meta nowadays because obviously everything is all about like festivals and stuff like that but um again we already have like awakened characters um the only characters we was missing are like awakened shin awaken roxy and awaken camilla but we also have leaks about that as well because again the only characters we have are awaken are like awaken easton awaken shin awaken lilia and i think awaken balenti so we was missing three more because we do have leaks um from sds leaks we got this like about earlier this month and it's right here basically saying that um the next the next awaken disaster would be roxy and her name would be roxy crazy or something like that which does fit her character because she was like known as like a, a crazy character if you ever played with her a little bit um and this is sds leaks guys so this was one of the people who give us most of our leaks um that you see any other content creator pretty much produce and stuff like that or do a video about and man you can already tell man you already know man a lot of people are very excited let's look let's look at a couple of quote teats right let's see let's see uh <laughs> <laughs> see like you got awaken roxy let's go see see people excited people excited they got my boy speedy another catastrophe unit yay see you can see the excitement in his voice man he, he's waiting for this he said i'm gonna laugh they put prey on the bench to make people summon <laughs> and then you got another person in catastrophe <laughs> so yeah guys we, a lot of people are very excited for this catastrophe banner man um again a lot of people was hoping for like some sort of like collab or, or a ragnarok character for nidhogg i'm actually curious man what will they do for for nidhogg like honestly because i'm hoping that on this live stream they freaking like they give us like a freya relic or something like that because i am not gonna lie man this means it's more wait time on getting another catastrophe character which is gonna be sucky right now <laughs> Because it's going to be forever before we get another character that is going to be for Nidhogg, most likely. Especially when we got a lot of people speculating that it's going to be like a collab banner after this too. So um, I can't wait to see what they will do in terms of like Nidhogg and stuff like that. Because Miguel is still missing that missing piece from what it seems like. Like I tried a couple of teams with her. I've done plenty of videos on her. But it still, like, it still feel like she's lacking something. And um, again, I'm just hoping for maybe we get like a character that will be suited for because obviously with catastrophes it's not gonna be this character all right it's not gonna be this one with a catastrophe she needs a ragnarok character um so again you know i'm very excited to see what they will do with the ragnarok story and we need to see what kind of bosses it will be you know we already know man the community we all excited and hyped for this all right everybody loves catastrophes we love the original characters uh, we, we love summoning for them 
because you know they're just so good in pvp so you know hopefully guys enjoy and um yeah can't wait to see what what the story will be for catastrophes